Belkin's newest boost charge cable, this thing, it's got a fatal flaw to it. It's a doozy of a flaw. Let's get into it. Now for cables, I test them by measuring the charge and data rates. I've been at thousands of times using the Master Bender 9000, and then I retest the charge and data rates to see what did the bending do? Now spec-wise, this thing can provide 240 watts worth of charging, which means it's uh, PD 3.1 compliant. Physically, the cable is a little stiff for my liking. If you do a simple wrap like this and then try to take it all apart, it tends to kind of gnawed up. This cable is notably thicker, though it's not as thick as a USB-C 4 cable, but it's got some heft to it. Connector is capped with mostly metal, and the bottom part's rubbery. The gray and white looks pretty nice. Lengthwise, I bought the two meter version, and this thing was a little longer than expected. We got an extra two meters. Now, in terms of charging performance, this thing was not great. I had trouble hitting 15 watts based on my testing. It did not hit 100 watts based on how I called the protocol. Voltage drop was quite high at 0.72 volts, and the resistance in the cable was a hair higher than the average 0.21. For data speeds, it performed at a USB 2 level. So yeah, latest charging protocols, but USB 2 speeds. Read and write speeds were average. My mixed folder tests were generally average as well. Let's talk about durability. Ben tested to 30,000 plus bends. To test that claim, I took this cable and my Master Bender 9000, and I Master Bended it 9,000 times. Actually, it was 30,000 plus 10% because I'm generous like that. Can you tell which end I bent? It's this one, the one with the green tape, because the ed end of the uh, connector is kind of afraid. The head of the loose end is quite stiff. The head of the uh, bent end is actually quite loose. So after all that tugging, the cable didn't actually do worse. The higher voltage drops and resistance did not increase. Charging speeds were the same as well as data speeds. But the fatal flaw was that this head that was bent was way too hot to touch. When I was trying to pull the 100 watt uh, charging protocol, this thing was, I couldn't pull it out of the socket. It was that hot. So would I get this product? The answer is no, because how hot it gets to me, from my perspective, that's a safety concern. It wasn't hot before, bent it a bunch of times, then gets too hot to touch, yikes. I'm on a mission to figure out what the best USB-C cables are. If you're gonna get a USB-C cable, make sure you don't buy this one because it's not worth getting. Um, but do uh, check out my playlist with the recommended cables. Make sure you use my links. I'm a reviewer, not an influencer. Do not care which uh, brand you go with. I just care that you get the best tech for your money. Uh, thanks for watching.